Hi friends, it's Miss Cassie from the Orange Beach Public Library here for another stay in story time. We start every story time with a song. We say hello in American Sign Language like this. Hello. Can you do that with me? Hello. Very good. And then we say uh, friends. We have one friend here and another friend here and they give each other a hug. So, song goes like this. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Very good. And then as we're getting ready, I like to sing the Rolly Poly song. We put our hands in fists like this, big and strong. We're going to go around, around in a circle and the song's about opposites. So it goes like this. Rolly Poly, Rolly Poly, up, 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 up. Rolly, Rolly Poly, Rolly, Rolly Poly, down, 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 down. Very good, because the opposite of up is down. Let's, good job. Let's do another one. Rolly poly, rolly poly, out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly, in, 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 in. Very good, because the opposite of out is in. Very good. Let's do one more. Rolly poly, rolly poly, fast, fast, fast. Fast, 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 rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, slow, 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 slow. Very good, because the opposite of fast is slow. Great job. All right, we have some great stories to read today. We are going to start with one of my favorites, and it is called... The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. It's by Don and Audrey Wood, who are two of my favorite um, authors and illustrators from when I was little. And I know this is my, one of my sister's favorites. She likes this one, too. It's a great story. They also wrote The Napping House and Silly Sally, which are two of my faves. All right. Hello, Little Mouse. What are you doing? What do you think the mouse is doing? Looks like he's got a ladder, maybe? Hmm. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red, ripe strawberry? Ooh, that strawberry looks good. The little mouse, haven't you heard about the big, hungry bear? Uh-oh. What kind of face is he making there? He looks maybe a little scared, maybe a little surprised. Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Look, he's shaking. He's so nervous. What's he going to do? Especially one that has just been picked. Uh-oh. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest in his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden, like he's trying to bury it. Or who is guarding it? He locked it up. Or how it's disguised. Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. How do you think you can, he can do it? How can he save the strawberry? Let's see. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum! 
It was like a yummy strawberry. Now that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end. Isn't that a good story? Oh, there's the bear. You can see the, the silhouette, the outline of the bear. And then there's the the um, the mouse and the strawberry. So thank you to Child's Play for letting us read this one today. One of my favorites. All right, how about we roll whoops, our song cube. We're going to roll it and see what song we're going to sing today. The first one is this one. What is that? Twinkle, twinkle, little star? Yeah, it goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Great job. That's a good song. What is this one? Do you remember? Those are five monkeys and they're jumping on a bed. So it starts with five of them. You ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left now? Four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Just one. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? Zero. They all fell off and bumped their head. Good job. Look at this one. Zoom, zoom, zoom. One of our favorites. We start going like this up and down. You ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Great job! All right, let's read another story. This one is about dinosaurs. This is called How Do Dinosaurs Choose Their Pets? And it's by Jane Yellen and Mark Teague. This is a great series, especially for toddlers and preschoolers. One of my favorites. There's lots of good ones. There's a brand new one that's called How Do My Dinosaurs Mind Their Manners? Which is a very good story. This one is about how they choose their pets. What is his pet there? a tiger. Should you have a tiger as a pet? Probably not. And also a really cool thing is that all you, all the real names of the dinosaurs can be found throughout the book. So let's see what happens. How does a dinosaur pick out his pet? Does he go on the prowl with a stick and a net? Does he head to the zoo and take home a big cat? And what does his mom have to say about that? Does he drag a huge elephant back in a wagon with both its long trunk and its wee tail a dragon? Look at that elephant. Or speaking of dragons, does she go acquire? 
A high flying beastie who loves to breathe fire. What if you had a dinosaur or had a dragon as a pet? That would be pretty crazy. Does he pick out a boa constrictor for play? Does it look at his dog in a very odd way? Uh oh. Does he sneak an iguana inside of his cap? You see the iguana? Or lead home a kangaroo by a long strap. Here's the kangaroo bouncing. Does he ask for a manatee, maybe a whale, or wish for a shark he can keep in a pail? That must be a big pail. Keep that shark. Does he carry off tortoises, zebras, a mink, giving them hay and a cola to drink? Is that what you think? Is that what you think? I don't know. No, a dinosaur doesn't. She knows what to do, and she never brings anything home from the zoo. That's right, we don't bring anything home from the zoo. He goes to a shelter or pet store or farm. There's a little dog. To find a small creature who will do no harm. He brings home a kitten, a hamster, or pup, and he can teach manner that he can teach manners as they both grow up. Look. She cares for her pet and gives love even more. Big hugs to your friend, little dinosaur. What is that? He's got a little dog. The end. Isn't that great? Thank you to Blue Sky Press for letting us read this one today. We love our dinosaur stories. All right. I think we are going to sing a little song that you might know. Good morning, Stephen. Um, it takes place in a... Get it out. This thing. If you can see it, here we go. It's a barn because we're on a farm. Who lives on a farm that we know a song about? I bet his name is Old MacDonald. So do you know how that song goes? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had, let's see what he has in here, had a horse, look at that horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay nay here and a nay nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, put my horse over here, all right, oh, and here's old MacDonald, there he is. I'm going to sit him on top. If you can see him. Mm, not really. Here he is. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. There he is. I'll hold him up. Let's do another one. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... What else? Oh. Cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Let's see what else. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O. 
with a woof woof here and a woof woof there. Here a woof, there a woof everywhere. A woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Great job. So what all was on Old MacDonald's farm? There was the horse. Put him back in the barn. There was the oink 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 pig. There was the moo, 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 moo cow. And then there was the dog. <laughs> Good job. And here goes old McDonald. He's going to go back in his barn to take care of all his animals. Because he's a great farmer. Good job. All right, let's sing one more song. What do you think? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for coming today. Um, we will continue to have story times, bedtimes, in stay and story times um, on the days that we are open. But we will be closed next Thursday, Friday. So um, that will not be a story time day, but we will have um, some pre-recorded story times and other things that will come up at our normal times. Um, so we will still be here, and you can always look back at our um, YouTube channel to watch old ones, old videos. I've been saving those since July, I think, so uh, there's lots of stuff for you to watch. So anyway, I hope to see you soon. Bye.